Hey guys, I need to give a shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. If you're unaware of what SeatGeek is, it is an app that lets you buy tickets to concerts, to sporting events, to any sort of major thing that you want to get a ticket to. And what it does is it shows you a map of the tickets listed across all different websites, and it shows you which deal is a good deal and which deal is a bad deal, so you know if you're getting ripped off. So if you download the app and you want to go and use it to buy tickets, make sure you use my code COOGS at checkout and you will save $20 off your first order. Thanks, Sea Geek. All right, so today we're doing something a little bit funky. We're gonna be playing around with this Joey Gallo card some more. I did my debut video with him. I think I posted that on Thursday, um, and I want to use him again, but I want to do something different with him. Since Joey Gallo is kind of like the god of the MLB The Show community, everybody knows how good his gold card is. Then they release this diamond card, which is even better. This Gallo card, you're gonna see a lot of it from here till the end of the season. And the the funny thing about Joey Gallo is that he's a left fielder, but he can play six out of the nine positions on the field. Scratch that, I'm sorry, five out of the nine positions. He's got all three outfield positions and the corner infields. The only positions that he can't play are the middle infield, so second base and shortstop. He can't play catcher and he cannot pitch. But doesn't it just seem like wherever you put Joey Gallo, he just seems to make the play? He always seems to get it done for me defensively. He's got that 85 arm strength to go with it so today we're gonna have a little bit of fun and we are gonna put Joey Gallo at every single position in ranked seasons so I'm gonna jump into a game it's gonna be obviously a nine inning game and we're gonna put Joey Gallo at every single position for one inning so yes at some point in this video Joey Gallo is going to pitch for me and I don't really know if Joey Gallo is gonna get it done on the mound but we'll have to wait and see so I'm gonna start him at catcher and then I'm gonna move him around probably the infield and then the outfield um, I'll probably do the pitching in around like the third inning or so I just want to see how good Joey Gallo actually is just because like I said he just seems to make the play every single time and I think this could be a fun idea everybody loves Joey Gallo everybody loves playing with him let's see how he does when he's not in his natural element here we go Joey Gallo at every position man I'm out of ideas do me a favor guys for my pain and suffering when the eventual Joey Gallo pitching inning comes up hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you want to see more fun MLB the show videos why am I doing this the rest of the team is pretty much the same too the only change we have is Johnny Bench just because he's kind of more utility and I feel like that would work all right so we're facing Luis Castillo he's got that Pete Alonso player or not player of the month the Pete Alonso um what's it called a uh, home run derby card Fernando Tatis Jr. Machado Braun he's, he's kind of all over the place why did I swing at that come on if that gets down I'm safe 99 speed I'm there easily let's go Ricky use the speed Alomar. Oh, oh, it's off his glove or off his wrist or something. I low-key could have gone to third right there. But we're setting up Gallo with two guys on. I'm sorry, the catcher, Joey Gallo, because he's starting the game at catcher for me. Let's see if I can actually hit a tank with him. All right, that's the first hit I've got with Gallo, so that's good. We're going to go right here, 99 speed. Come on. I'm in there. Ricky is so quick. We already got the lead. He's got an RBI for me. Tim Kugler, that's up the middle. That should score the guy from uh, second. We're going to go ahead and stay at first and second. We got a two-run lead in the first. As many runs as we can get right now is huge because that will help us with the cushion when Joey Gallo eventually has to pitch. And we're going to get to second and third. Perfect. Ball four. Oh, my God. We've got Josh Bell with the bases juiced in the first. What is going on? Oh, I missed it. It's going to be a sack fly, but we should be able to get to third out of it as well. So we'll have a runner 90 feet away with... Oh, thank God I got in there. That was close. Johnny Bench. Oh, my God. That was a rocket, but we're out of the inning. We scored three. Look at Joey Gallo behind the dish in the first inning. He's ready. Come on, Tim Kugler, make this play. The less... Wow, he didn't really get a good animation for having diamond fielding. But the less batters we have to face with Joey Gallo behind the dish, the better. Because he's going to probably drop a lot of, like, strikes and stuff like that. If we get two strikes and we throw something in the dirt, he's pretty much going to get to first base. So we've got to get outs in the field with him behind the dish. Here's that Pete Alonso card, which I am also going to debut fairly soon here. Sometime this weekend, you guys will see that. It might even be... The day you're watching this. Oh, there we go. See, there's Gallo. Okay, we got to be careful now. 2-2. Two, two. We're going to go change up inside. Come on, Gallo. Catch this ball. 
Okay, he didn't go to second, and he struck out. Perfect. Come on. This would be big if we can get the out. 0-2 to Braun. He took an extra step over there. He's running. Okay, we'll get the out at first. I'm going to take it myself, put the tag on him. Nice. All right, Joey Gallo at the catcher position. Clean inning. All right, so second inning, we're going to have to move Joey Gallo. We're going to move him to first for this inning right here. So Joey Gallo over to first base, switching with Josh Bell. And Josh Bell will actually come out of the game. And I'm going to bring in Pudge because he can play catcher. So no more Josh Bell, but we do have Joey Gallo over at first base now, which is not out of position for him, so he shouldn't have any issues over there. There we go. Fly ball to center. Perfect. Willie Mays, no problems. Oh, he got a hit. Oh, what a curveball from Kershaw. He was way out in front. All right, now we got Tatis. With two down, I want him to hit a ground ball so Gallo can actually get a, a put out over there at first base. Get a ground ball to short or something. There we go. Throw it to first. Let's see what Gallo can do. I don't know why I'm acting like that's a big deal. He has a secondary there. All right, so two innings through. Gallo has played catcher and first base. All right, here we go, boys. Here comes the interesting one. Joey Gallo is going to take the mound. Okay, so that means Kershaw's at first, so we're going to put Bellinger in at first base or something. Uh, yeah, we'll put Bellinger in at first. <laughs> oh, my God. Here is the Joey Gallo on the mound inning. At least we're facing the pitcher first. So we're facing the bottom of the order, but we do have to face the top of the order. Are we getting an out? We are. One pitch, one out. Now we got to face real hitters, and this is where it's going to get scary. Come on, Joey. Tony Gwynn versus Joey Gallo. Gallo's got a fastball, a four seam, and a changeup, so only two pitches. Oh, no, he got a hit. All right, it's all good. It's all good. How does – when you have a position player on the mound, does that affect your ability to keep guys on base or, like, keep guys at first or something? Here we go. Good 85 fastball right there. I feel like Joey Gallo could throw harder than 85, but I don't know. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Double play. Oh, my God. Joey Gallo gets a 1-2-3 inning on the mound. Let's go, Gallo. That's what having clutch defensive fielders will do for you. Joey Gallo just threw a scoreless 1-2-3 inning in the third here. Now we just got to go the rest of the game with him not making errors at second and shortstop, and we should be good. Okay, so this inning, I'm going to want Gallo to play... Uh, I think I'll put him at third this inning, and I'm going to go to the bullpen, warm up some guys, Ryan Presley and Johnny Venters. So I'm going to make sure I move Gallo first. So Gallo is going to go to third to replace Wade Boggs. And Wade Boggs is coming out for, um, oh yeah, Wade Boggs will, will throw a, uh, a pitcher in there. Actually, I think I have to throw a batter, or I have to pitch to a batter with Wade Boggs first, so this could end up bad, but I have to do it. <laughs> We're getting Pete Alonzo out. This guy can't hit position players, dude. All right, now we can take out Wade Boggs, and here's Ryan Presley coming in for the last two outs. Come on, hit something to third base. Everything's a fly ball. Joey Gallo hasn't gotten anything in the field so far, really. Two outs, and here's Cody Bellinger. Hopefully, we can get him out as well. Dude, if I win this game, that would be awesome. I want to hit a home run with Gallo, too. I haven't hit one with the card yet. I get super excited every time he comes up to the plate, but I haven't even hit a ball over the fence yet. Strike three, easy. Ooh, that was actually a pretty well-hit ball. We'll take the out. Joey Gallo, four for four. Oh, that's going to fall, I think. I'm going to try to get to two. Yep, it went over his head. Perfect. I saw that coming from a mile away. Willie Mays gets a double. Look at Ryan Presley getting a base hit. We got to keep Willie Mays in second, but Ryan Presley swinging the bat. Second and third. Easy. Scoring position for both of these guys now. There you go, Pudge. 92 speed. This should score him. He caught it in a weird way. Could just get back to second. I could have went to third, honestly. We got a run. It's 4 nothing. Johnny Bench. It's over his head. 24 speed. Are we going to try this? Ryan Braun doesn't have much of an arm out there, right? And we're in there. Let's go. Ryan Presley going around the bases. It's 5 nothing. All right, so we're in the fifth. We're going to move Joey Gallo over to shortstop now. He's going to play... 
that position. Tim Kugler, he'll have to play out of position over at third, which shouldn't be too big of a deal. But I'm going to try to keep the ball low this AB or this inning because I want to see if Gallo can get an opportunity because we're putting him at the positions, but he hasn't really had many things actually go towards him. Oh, swinging right through the slider. All right, well, if he's not going to make contact, nothing more I can do. Here we go, another two-strike count. Oh, he hit a ground ball, but it went up the middle. All right, so he gets a base hit. Is it a lefty or a righty up next? It is a righty, so if he tries to steal, the second baseman would cover, so it doesn't really matter. Let's try to get a double play right here. Let's see if Joey Gallo can turn two. Beautiful sweeping curve. If he can't make contact, he can't hit the ball there, so it's whatever. I would like to see him hit it to Gallo, but can't control that. Damn, he's fouling off everything. This is like a eight or nine pitch at bat already. Jock Peterson's a tough out. Here we go again. He's 100% contact swinging. I, I yeah, I, I have no doubt in my mind this guy's just contact swinging to save his life. I don't really know what to throw him. I'm going to uh, do a fastball high and in. There we go. Contact swing won't help you there, buddy. All right, well, here's Joey. He's one for three with an RBI. He had that RBI in the first. He came up with the bases loaded earlier and could have get it done. So I'm looking for Joey to hit his first home run. He has yet to hit a home run for me, which is pretty weird. And that's going to be a line out. Man, I'm having trouble finding green with Gallo. All right, so this is now the inning where Gallo is going to play second. This will be his final inning and not in the infield. So third base, wait, no. Uh, hang on, substitutions. We got to go... Gallo at second, Alomar at short. So that actually is perfect because Alomar, does Alomar have a secondary at short? Nah, but he should be fine. All right, Joey Gallo is now at second base. So I'm going to try to pitch to my opponent easy places for second base opportunities to go. But he's either striking out or hitting the ball in the outfield. Like he does not hit very many ground balls at all, which kind of sucks. All right, 0 2, comes a slider. He pulls off. I'm trying to get him to hit it to second base. I'm trying to give it to him low and away so he hits it to the right side, but not everything is working out. And he's taking that. I, I can't get him to hit the ball. <laughs> oh, and of course, this inning it goes to shortstop. Alomar should make the play. And Joey Gallo plays the infield the entire game and has not made one error and throws a 1-2-3 inning. The next three innings are going to be him in the outfield which shouldn't be a very big deal. All right, Joey Gallo is going to be heading out to the outfield now, so that means substitution, Gallo. We'll put him in uh, We'll put him in center, I guess. Yeah, we'll go center field. Actually, no, we'll go, we'll go left field. Yeah, we'll go left. This video seriously makes no sense, but it's just, it's fun to play around with ideas like this sometimes. Because, you know, I could do debuts all day, but, like, every now and then... I want to do something a little bit different. Wow, okay, so he's actually getting a hit. It might not have been the smartest idea to bring in a lefty, especially against that Ryan Braun. That's a strong arm, and he's there. And he's swinging away at a slurve. All right. Good pitch, dude. All of a sudden, he can't hit Johnny Venters. We got two outs. Ground ball to second base. That ends the seventh inning, and once again, Joey Gallo gets no opportunities. I mean, this video is a fun idea, but he literally has gotten, what, one opportunity in the field. All right, Gallo is going to go ahead and play center field this inning, and then he's going to finish out the game in the ninth in right field, so should be easy enough. Oh, of course, now they want to hit a fly ball to left field. I gave you nothing but inside pitches in the last inning. You couldn't hit one to left field? Ooh, he's bringing in Gallo himself. Dude, please hit a ball to center field. Please fly out to Gallo in center field, I beg you. Yes, he did it. Joey Gallo flies out to Joey Gallo. Oh my god, he actually gets an opportunity in the field. Is this real life? Come on, come on, Willie. Take it away from him. Oh, Willie with the closing speed. Tough way to end the eighth. <laughs> All right, ninth inning. Gossage is coming in for the save. We're going to go ahead and put Joey Gallo over in right field. Ricky Henderson, we're going to move him over to left with Willie Mays. And Willie Mays is going to be back in center. And Joey Gallo, all he has to do is complete this game, and he will have played all nine positions in Diamond Dynasty in one game. And I'm trying to throw him away. So we can fly to right, but if you're not going to swing at anything, then what am I supposed to do? You're just going to take that pitch and on to the next. Here we go. Fastball. Hey, we got a fly ball to Gallo. Yeah, that's just it. My opponent really doesn't hit a lot on the ground. It's a lot of fly balls and strikeouts. That's where a majority of them have come from. At least he got one in the final inning. 
And he's going to actually close out the game. He got a good read on that Ryan Braun fly ball. How fitting, Joey Gallo finishes the game, and he played all nine positions. So yeah, I still haven't hit my home run with Gallo yet. Wait, Joey Gallo got the win? <laughs> I didn't even see that. Joey Gallo was the winning pitcher. How did he get the win? I guess because you have to be in, by because Kershaw wouldn't be eligible for the win. I don't even know. That is crazy. Can somebody explain that rule to me down in the comments? Because how... How did Gallo get the win when it was already 3 0 when he came in? I don't know. It was probably some eligibility thing. But Joey Gallo, he got the win. He got two hits and RBI. He's the man. So, like, if you want to see more fun, random video ideas like this, hit the thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with the rest of the Diamond Dynasty content. I'm going to be debuting Vlad Jr., Jock Peterson, Pete Alonso, all those guys. So, hopefully, you guys do enjoy that. But anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Hopefully, you have a good day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.